Hey guys, Robert here. We're gonna do a tour of Fort Hammer Road today. And I'm gonna show you exactly where it's starting and where it's ending, you know, all the way through Parish. So this is gonna be, you know, Buckeye Road to the Fort Hammer Bridge. So we're gonna start here on, let me turn this camera around. So this is where Fort Hammer Road starts at Buckeye Road right now, or you could say ends. Starts from the north, heading south. So this is Buckeye Road, northern border of Parish. Fort Hammer and Buckeye. This is Prosperity Lakes. Now Fort Hammer divides the active adult community, which will be this side, and the traditional community on this side. So the east side will be the traditional section, west side, active adult, and if you saw my video on the villas, um, those are, that'll be the gated section, which will be the villas. So as of right now, it ends here, so they've got you just taking a right or a left. Prosperity Lakes Boulevard, that's your active adult section, and this will be where Fort Hammer will continue through Prosperity Lakes into North River Ranch. So yeah guys, everybody's doing storm prep today, getting ready for this tropical storm uh, to come in, and um, you know, some of the people are worried putting up shutters, you know, you gotta be just careful around these new construction communities because there's a lot of uh, construction debris, right? So if the builders and developers don't do a good job of cleaning up the sites before the storm, everyone say hi to Spike, then you know you could have debris flying through your windows. So I did go um, to put the shutters on one of my rental properties. Um, yesterday because I was just worried about some of the debris, uh, you know, if they didn't clean it up properly, so you never know. Um, but I trust that they, they probably will get most of it, but you never know, guys, so it's always better to play it safe. All right, so now we are at the end of, you know, the north side of where they've finished thus far, north of a ranch. It was a do not road close sign here. This goes into Bella Lago if you go to the right. So this will be the Bella Lago connection. And then this is gonna connect down to the rest of, you know, this is Wild Leaf right here, North River Ranch. And then this connects, this is uh, the rest of Fort Hammer. Like literally just took that road close sign down. I don't know if it's for the uh, storm, but anyway, I'm gonna take it as a green light and go down this way and check it out. So this is the maiden voyage. I don't think anyone, any of the public has been down this part of the road yet. So this is, I'm the first, I am the uh, pioneer per se. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, what it's looking like guys, Fort Hammer Road. I'm gonna take my golf cart down here actually, if I couldn't get down here. Um, I know I could get down here on my golf cart. Looks like this will be the next phase and entrance of Wild Leaf. You know, so you have all these home sites for new communities. I think on the right and left side. And then you'll have a, um, a section where it goes off here. You know, I'm not really sure. Like, look, look at all, they got a roundabout. That's what we got. A roundabout, and they're doing the landscaping. That's going to veer off and be another road that goes to the other side of Bella Lago and there'll be some commercial property um, on 301. This will go into Prosperity Lakes. They're building a nice walkway around this new section of Fort Hammer Road. This is what it looks like, guys. Pretty cool. Prosperity 
Verde Lakes. And you'll come down and we'll just keep checking it out. So then, yeah, if you were driving out of Prosperity Lakes and you were just heading on Fort Hammer Road, you could take this straight into, you know, through North River Ranch. Like I kind of said before, and you know, Bella Lago on your left here. And there's Bella Lago. And then, you know, all along here, all along this road in North River Ranch, there's little, little workout stations and big wide sidewalks, big enough for your golf cart. More home sites here on the left. You know, hundreds of home sites here with Wild Leaf on the right. I mean, you're talking 6,500 homes just for North River Ranch back here. Roughly, I mean, between them all of North River Ranch. So there's about a thousand done. So figure 5,500 homes maybe back here. That's what I'm guesstimating at from what I've heard. Come down here. My house is actually down here on the right. Then you have your dog park here for North River Ranch, which Spike wants to go to. But um, I think I'm going to take him to Ola May as an intermission of this video. So then, right on the left here, guys, is as I keep going south on Fort Hammer Road, you're going to have the Actually, on the left, you'll have where the hospital is going to be. So behind these trailers, between here and 301, this is where the hospital is going to be. You're going to see it back here, and this is going to be the entrance to the market center. And then here's the Brightwood entrance from close to Little River Way on North River Ranch. So this part is all finished, guys. This section of the road opened a little over about a year and a half ago. Um, when we first moved to North River Ranch in 2020, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, really, I think it was kind of open, but like nobody came down here. There was nothing building back there. You know, it was just really like a construction entrance to Bell Lago for the most part. Then you come to the, this is uh, Fort Hammer and Mox and Wallow intersection. This is where the new Publix is. Like I said, on this corner where you'll have your North River Ranch Market Center, and, and you can refer, refer to my North River Ranch future video on my page and you can on my channel and you can I've got some aerial drones and I'm on site everything actually I was on site of this Publix before they even broke ground. This is the new Publix this is literally right across the street from Brightwood Pavilion um, right where we just were so walking distance to the clubhouse to here and or you can take your golf cart your bike whatever you want to do but that's the community that's the main entrance right there this is the barbara harvey elementary school this is an a-rated elementary school where my son field and then barbara harvey elementary school is right there next to the Publix. so and then you head you know you head this way to i-75 is about three miles and you can take a left and 301 is about a mile that way then you come through here and you'll end up in, you're in the North River Ranch River Field and you know, this is part of the market walk. So there'll be some more stores in here with the Publix, more restaurants, probably nail salons, all that fun stuff. And your townhouses are here, for which I have one townhouse available. Um, then we have, Riverfield Veranda, right there. Which reminds me, I'm gonna post an ad for this townhouse right now. Today, as of me, after I make this video. And then this will be where your SCF College is gonna be, guys. So SCF College will be right there. Boom. And then you can take a left here to Ola May. This is Erie Road. I'm gonna make a video on Erie Road itself as well, and Moccasin Wallow, what's coming and what it looks like in real time. So then you take a left here, and then this is Spike's favorite dog park over here around the corner is Ola May. Check that out. And you go straight here, guys, left. You take the left right here, guys, and then just hook
walks right around and then Ola May Sims Dog Park, Manatee County Dog Park. It's right here. And this is Spike's favorite place on earth. This is the back of North River Ranch, Riverfield, David Weekly Homes. Usually we come in the morning or in the evening because it's too hot this time of day, but you now we have the storm coming, so it's giving us some cloud cover which is nice. We have a dog park, a basketball court, a small and large dog park. There's a picnic and grill area as well as a track. So here we are at the dog park. Spike's favorite place. Beautiful husky. It's one of my favorite dogs right there. Probably my top. That, the German Shepherd and the Bulldog. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Come here three or four times a week. You know, different groups, different times of the day. Um, good place to make friends and for the dogs to get out their energy. And then coming back here, going back down Fort Hammer South, heading heading south. My guy is a little worn out in the back seat. You might be able to hear him. So this is where the new park is going to be, as you can see the sign. That has been years in the making. The county is moving forward with plans to build a park to help revitalize the parish community. So leaders believe the park will be a great spot to take your kids for the afternoon and for bigger events like festivals. News Channel 8's Chloe Sparks joins us live from Fort Hammer Road, where this park are, will be built out here pretty soon. Chloe, tell us about the features of this park. Hey, Chris and Beth. So by the end of next year, anyone and everyone is welcome to come down to Fort Hamer Road and Parish to enjoy some free family fun activities. This area behind me will transform into what will be called Parish Community Park. After years of anticipation, Manatee County officials are set to break ground on this multi-phase park project Friday, August 11th. Playgrounds, walking trails, and a pavilion are just a piece of the puzzle. Parasivic Association officials have $15.4 million to start bringing their dream to life. Actually, it started with our previous president, uh, Gretchen Fowler, started scoping out the land. Uh, she was the president for the Paris Civic Association at that time. That was probably about six or seven years ago. Haney says Fowler could predict fast-paced growth in the community. Now, it's up to the current Civic Association officials to execute plans. A place where people can come and watch movies at night or have a jazz band come out or have other activities and events going on that people can come and bring their families. Phase two of the project is still in the works. This is where another public swimming pool could come to play. There will likely be a charge, I'm assuming, for the aquatic center, but I can't speak 100% as to that. The aquatic center plan hopes to bring in a community lap pool 25 yards by 25 meters with 10 swimming lanes. The best part, phase one features are going to be free. And Hamie tells us that they are hoping to- and They're supposed to have the aquatic center on this side of the road. And then the parish high school is right behind here. And the back entrance to that is up here as well. So you'll have that, you know, the park will have all the, supposed to have like a food truck pavilion, um, supposed to have, you know, playgrounds, and then um, like a little like, you know, courtyard chill area where you can have live bands and stuff like that as well. So that's pretty awesome. There's the high school back entrance, another roundabout. And so we're headed towards Lakewood Ranch right now, guys. Um, you know, I imagine any of these properties are super valuable if you can ever get your hands on them. Um, super valuable. Once again, I apologize for my dog because he is panting like an animal. And then here's some little cross streets that will probably over time transform. Now I think as this area gets more built out and more built out, then you're going to see a lot of you know, people, these people around this road are going to get offered probably money they can't refuse. Turn these properties out into commercial. Think about that. And then they just 
just opened this section like a couple months ago. So right from where we were coming from the high school there, the back entrance, that was actually where it kind of ended. And now they just opened this section, which crosses with 301 again. So crosses with 301 right here. And then we'll head into the you know, South Fort Hammer Road and South Parish. That'll take you into the Fort Hammer Bridge and uh, Lakewood Ranch. So we'll continue on and I'll show you that. So right here, you're gonna get your 7-Eleven gas station. There's a Dollar General over there, Fort Hammer Dental. And then you can take a ride to 301 head into Ellington right here. Um, or you can take the left and, and head 301 North, which will take you, you know, Bell Lago, Prosperity Lakes, then into Wamama and Ruskin. Um, so yeah, guys, I got a little taco joint here. Like if you take a right, you'll see the there's another Publix down on the left. There's like an Arby's, a Dunkin' Donuts. Um, there's also a, a storage facility coming in. Now this whole intersection here, I believe this has all been purchased on both sides of the road here. So you're gonna see uh, left and right a diagram for that but this is all going to be a commercial property so this is all going to be I think that as we continue on uh, North River Church on the right side headed south and guys this wasn't even really much of a road I mean it was a road but it wasn't like a really busy road because it wasn't a through way a few years ago before they built the bridge. And you can check out my video on Windwater, guys, if you're interested in Windwater. That's a no CDD community. Um, there's only like 300 homes in there. My Matt and Amy homes, Matt and me homes. And then this is gonna be your golf course road and this will take you into Cross Creek as well. And then there's another entrance down here, which is the main entrance leaving that golf course intersection road. And you're gonna see uh, the Laurels, Villas, they're advertising, which is I think down on your left here, and then Medallion Homes. So this is a big Medallion Home community. Cross Creek, it's like the uh, west side of Cross Creek. But you'll see the entrance here coming in. I found that I thought these homes were a little overpriced, but it seems like they're kind of moving slow as far as construction goes. I don't think they're selling them super fast. Because I was here six months ago and, and it looked about the same as far as where they're at in construction and how many how, how many starts they have. So this is uh, you know, this will take you. Here on your right, I mean, you're gonna have your um, this is uh, what you call it, silver leaf. I think silver leaf is on one side, and then you have your, you know, Annie Lucy Williams Elementary School will be here on your left, which is a top rated elementary school in Parish, top five percent in math. You can check out my Parish School Zone video, Parish School System video for that. That will give you a great rundown of all the schools, their ratings, the school zones, which communities pertain to which school zone, and then the school choice program and how that actually works and the misconceptions of how you think it may or may not work. Water Place, Watercolor Place, which is gonna be, I'm sure this is gonna be another community in not too long as well. Um, Right here, guys, this is, uh, this is Mulholland Road, I guess I what you call that. And then as we come, we're gonna come right down and we're gonna end the video here at the bridge and at the river. And we'll give you some clips of that as we get down here. So then, Fort Hammer, I'll actually go across the bridge and then I'll just come back and show you the Fort Hammer River Park here. But we'll, uh, this is basically where Pet
parish ends. So this is the edge of parish. And then you'll come in, you'll be in Bradenton when you get across the bridge here. So this is the bridge that was constructed a few years ago and this alleviated a lot of traffic and created, they probably created some traffic in some areas, but then it alleviated a lot of traffic on the 301 and I-75 and allowed people to kind of get off and exit before. So, let's see guys, it's, we have water leaf over here, which are waterfront golf course properties. Here's the river there, the Little Manatee River. That drains from Manatee to the Little Manatee River. Come down right before the bridge. You got the islands there. It's nice, probably where I'm trying to live eventually. It's super nice. But I maybe want to be in Waterleaf because I want a waterfront golf course front property. The ideal for me. So here's your Ford Hammer boat ramp. It's where you can put your boats in shoot down the river. You know, I, I saw some other agents making different videos about this area um, that don't live in the area. So, pretty nice guys. Yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this little Ford Hammer tour. As you know, this road is all brand new and it really connects Parish. Bike is saying he doesn't want me to go too far. So I'm gonna close out guys. Thank you for watching and check out my channel guys. Check out the other videos and I hope they all help you. Thank you.